Uh, well, most of, most of our readers uh, know you because of Swiss Internal, so uh -huh. can, as you can imagine. <laughs> so they associate you a lot with development because uh, there's a lot of hard development mm -hmm. and difficult development <laughs> behind yeah. those, those tools that a lot of people love. Uh -huh. uh, so they say, uh, one of the questions that somebody asked me is, uh, does C program in C Sharp or something, or is it just a C++ man? Yeah, those are, all those tools are C. C, C and C++. So right, right. And uh, I mean, not that I, I so Azure is built almost entirely in C Sharp, mm -hmm. and I like C Sharp. The reason that I've stuck with C++ is because of the, how I want to make the tools yeah. lightweight and target all the way down to XP. Yeah. So I don't want to have, you know, to use the tools, download, mm -hmm. download .NET 4.5, you know, and this right. big package right, is right. Require, as, a, as a requirement. So. Uh, so does it mean that you still monitor or, or program these these tools, or do yeah, you have some other people? The, the system internal tools are my hobby. This just keeps uh -huh. me programming. It's uh, tough in my role at, at in Azure and even in Windows to contribute to production code in that environment. My role is as an architect, and when you uh, if you when you deliver code into a product, that's a, a big time commitment because you're developing the code, testing the code. Uh, maintaining the code and I don't uh, my, almost all my time is spent on architecture meeting with people pushing a vision socializing the vision and so there's not time for me to take that kind of commitment but I do want to mm -hmm. stay technical and still so I I do projects on Azure and I uh, a creative outlet is Sys internal. Okay, for so for for somebody with your knowledge deep knowledge of C and C++ a language like because now it's, a, it's the big hype, right? Yeah. Uh, a language like JavaScript. What's your opinion? What's your feeling about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, my personal feeling is that it's uh, that's like assembly language. Um, yeah. It's and it's painful. I think that uh, the TypeScript stuff that yeah, done, it's different. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, that uh, that's Hasbro idea, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that brings a lot of uh, structured type safe language support to JavaScript, which uh, I think if if I was going to develop in JavaScript, I'd definitely use mm -hmm. that support. So the, there is going to be more progression on, on that kind of uh, super JavaScript yeah. stuff. Yeah, definitely. My, I mean, Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft's definitely committed to that, to making it uh, easier to develop JavaScript code good news. and making it more maintainable. Yes. Okay. Um, another thing is in relation with those those tools that that, yeah. that you have um, in relation with the the in Internet Explorer. Yeah. Is there something, some connection between some of those tools and, and Explorer? I know you can sniff the traffic and, and mm -hmm. so on, but I mean with the, um, with the browser itself. Uh, any relationship between the system tools? Right. Yeah, right. Or, or, is there a, or are there any plans of, uh, about yeah, it? No, um, not specifically um, any plans. You know, uh, when it comes to sniffing HTTP traffic, mm -hmm. the Fiddler tool that Eric... Yeah, I know it, is, yes. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I use when I need to sniff. That's yeah. what I yeah. use. Yeah. Okay, that's nice to know. Yeah. All right. Well, in relation with Astra, because uh -huh. uh, you moved to Astra about two years ago. Three years ago, actually. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's what I thought. Uh, are there going to be any tools for specific for for the for the cloud? Because most of these internals, yeah, uh, you know, is <laughs> is for the client. But, uh, um, yeah, I. So I've been looking at that, and I. I when it comes to uh, the, uh, the thing about the system internals tools for a particular virtual machine, uh, for a particular uh, Windows deployment, mm. is they're small and self-contained. Right. When you talk about the cloud, uh, it, generally it's harder for me to come up with ideas that are just small, self-contained mm. tools that provide a lot of utility. Mm. Um, so I haven't thought of any mm -hmm. at this point in time. If you have any suggestions, I'd be glad to hear them. <laughs> um, but uh, what my energy has been focused on making sure that uh, the, our, serv our general services provide the kinds of visibility that the system mm -hmm. tools do on that. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. That's uh, something you can expect. Yeah, right? exactly. Or right. less than the top. And th there's another thing. It doesn't have anything to do with computing. <laughs> but he has written a couple of novels. Uh, yeah. Zero Day, which uh -huh. I read. And the, next one, the second one, no. No? I didn't. Are yeah. you planning to, to translate that into Spanish or something? Uh, it's, it's actually not my call. I'd love to have them translated in Spanish. Yes. To get them translated into foreign language, a publisher in that 
a publisher has to go purchase the yeah. rights, the translation rights from my publisher. Right. Yeah. I so guess. if there's a yeah. Spanish publisher that interested in them they would approach oh my publisher not not good time for 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 the for the lyrics yeah. now right now you know that's yeah. that is a that's a problem i published myself with just uh you know in the foundations of, of different things c sharp or silver light in my time in, in its time uh -huh. and now html5 but um it's very very hard time for that because yeah. you have everything in internet yeah exactly. since yeah. you know besides <laughs> you you publish something and it takes about in my case for example uh, 10 days later yeah just 10 days later i saw the i mean whole book scanned and, and the email and, yeah you know, <laughs> so <laughs> that's not that's not a, a bright a bright future yeah but anyway it was nice because there is a whole cyber culture mm -hmm. around you know from uh, our literature you know, and the tension that you gave in the the first one in zero mm -hmm. day uh, that was something i really like so you, do you have another one in mind or yeah well the, the second one trojan horse actually i think yeah. I, I, yeah, I personally like that better, better um and it if you watch it, the chinese cyber hacking stuff there's uh it reads a lot like what uh -huh. trojan horse portrays and in fact the ir ironic thing is speaking of translations a Chinese publisher just bought the rights to translate Trojan oh. Horse uh, just about a, uh, two or three weeks ago, okay. which is, I think, a little ironic. I'm working on a third one, which will be out in about a year, yeah. and uh, I've got an offer for the movie rights for the series. Oh, that's fantastic. Two, so negotiating that. Right that's now. great. And <coughs> may we know what it deals about? <laughs> what the, know? <laughs> what's that? The third one? Oh, yeah, the third one is uh, about uh, insider threats, social engineering, and, and financial cybercrime. Uh, oh, oh. Or never, like the good old hackers, uh, yeah, exactly. we all know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. I'm not an, I, Do you think there is still fear for adoption of the of the cloud? Like my data is is going away. Yeah, I think that um, that is probably when it the two th two things right that I think um, hold enterprises back from adopting the cloud. One of them is uh, the reliability of the cloud, and the other one, you know, from a mission critical, can it's support performance and availability uh, and the second is security and right. uh, security not just in terms of of uh, de legal domain over the, the data and code where I put it up in the cloud but you know do I trust the cloud provider not to mm -hmm. to, to secure my data properly and the we're addressing that uh, in a few ways I think time addresses it time where we don't have yeah. incidents builds right. trust uh, and then the second thing is the certifications that we've been getting, which is like the ISO certification that we've got where an outside company can say, can look at these certifications, know that there's a bunch of controls behind them. Right, so right. they see that we're actually following security best practices and, and that builds some trust. But uh, the fundamental one of, of uh, especially when it comes to government, uh, corporations and governments that are very sensitive about their data putting it someplace right, right. that one is going to take a while i think that, right. that, that those when we when i look at the, the the movement to the cloud it's the small companies that are going to be you know already moving the small companies don't buy servers anymore they just go right to the cloud the mid-sized companies those will start to migrate they're say new things go to the cloud i'll look at migrating old things or just shutting kind of my data centers down it's the big companies that are going to go last because those Big companies oftentimes have data corporate secrets that they they like mm -hmm. control. They've got a whole bunch of systems around them, designed around protecting that data and maintaining those systems. That it'll take them a long time to. That's funny because I had just the opposite idea. I thought that yeah. at least in in Spain, like the big companies, they dare to go to the cloud because they have an infrastructure behind. Yeah. Um, but the rest, uh, you know, they think about, is that going to cost me more money? Because I already have my infrastructure. Why should I spend more money into that? You know, that's yeah. the message that I get. Oh. Okay, maybe you maybe know? that's a different view. But the one that yeah. I've been hearing and seeing is the um, uh, the one, like the small, the medium-sized company that might have a data mm -hmm. center themselves yeah, right. with a few hundred right. servers or a thousand servers. They're going to say, I'm not going to build any more data center. I'm not going to. You know, if I've yeah, got this clear, as my computing needs expand, I'm not going to go build another data center that's with or colo with a thousand servers in it. I'm just going to go right to the cloud. Uh, 
but the uh, it's the big mm. data it's the big companies that I talk to that have well they say oh I've yeah, got five data centers I've got a whole bunch of servers right. I know how to manage that I know how to deploy it I know how to maintain and monitor it and I know where my data is mm. that you know uh, the there is a second concern I don't know if you if you agree with this but uh, they they say okay maybe let's imagine that I am convinced I mean yeah. uh, for sure that's on Microsoft's hands, I know these guys are clever and they they know what they do. But what about my learning curve? I mean, because I have a lot of people that's never done anything in the cloud, and suddenly uh, we're gonna move. Let's say, for example, I had a personal case in a treasury mm -hmm. company. Say, so, okay, makes sense to make all yeah. this, uh, but what about these eight, ten, twelve guys that don't know nothing about the cloud? Yeah. How much is gonna cost me in terms of time to make and be productive? Yeah. Uh, for us, or what's your, your uh, I, advice? Or I think um, I totally agree that that's, that's something that I see yeah. too, which is com uh, companies that don't understand the cloud or the cost or, mm -hmm. or what it takes to move to the cloud. Right, this right. is where we see the dev tests kind of start out first. Or the, uh, it's a new project, it's a small line of business app, mm -hmm. let's go try that in the cloud and let's see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it takes to set up a Exactly. systems to monitor, manage yes, it, deploy right, it, and then right. and then learn from that. Um, so that's the kind of pilot programs. So that, that's a nice idea. Yeah. It's a new, a new project not to be. That's right. Just to have it into your hands. Yeah. That's yeah. Thing. Well, well, just uh, for for your followers, we, who, which mainly are followers of uh, CIS internals, uh, tell us about the future. <laughs> the future is CIS internals? Yes. Uh, well, I continue to develop the tools. I mean, if you're... If if anybody has feature suggestions, then um, mm -hmm. I'd be glad to hear. You have them. a wish list? Uh, I've, yeah, I've got actually a big long list of features that I, you know, uh, have collected over time. Some of my ideas and okay. requests people have gotten, and I've got them in a list. And when I've got free time, I go look at it and go, ah, oh, you know what? This weekend I'll go add this. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, nice. yeah. Okay. Well, thanks a lot.